Good morning. Phew. It's been some really busy days, but I'm starting to get back on track and I'm thinking about helping out my daughters as they start their new lives with new jobs and new schooling. And I think freezer meals are really a good idea. So today, because I had this large party, I had a lot of leftovers. I had a lot of beautiful tri-tip leftovers. And we have had just about enough of tri-tip for lunch and dinner and breakfast. And I'm gonna make a refrigerator freezer meal. Now let me tell you what a refrigerator meal is. When I was growing up, my mom used to say, tonight we're having a refrigerator dinner. And I would always be very excited about that because it meant that everything that was in the fridge that was just about to go bad or that she needed to you know, get rid of was gonna go into a stew and we were gonna have um, a delicious refrigerator meal. And I think that comes from the fact that she grew up during the Depression and her parents did not waste one thing. So I've inherited that a little bit. I don't like things to go bad. And so I'm going to use all the things in my fridge. I didn't go shopping and I'm not using a recipe. I'm just gonna make a refrigerator meal from whatever I have on hand. So the first thing is this gorgeous tri-tip. I had some celery and some carrots, which I don't think I'm gonna peel. <laughs> I just cut them up. I'm gonna throw in a box of mushrooms. I'm gonna cut up two potatoes that were hang hanging out. And I have a little bit left of the frozen peas. And we're just gonna make a beautiful tri-tip stew. And then I'm gonna bag it up in a, with a special receptacle. Wait till you see, I've got something new and I'm gonna send it over to Jenny's for a freezer meal. Now, this is one of the reasons why I think that I am such a good surprise cook. My daughters laugh and they say that I am, actually, I excel at surprise cooking. And that means that who knows what's in the dish, but it tastes pretty good. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing surprise cooking or refrigerator cooking, which I think I got from my mom. So I'm gonna put all of this in the crock pot. I think I'm gonna put in a little bit of beef broth and some spices. I'll have to look in the cabinet and see what I think about that. And I'll set it up, hold on. This is an all-clad slow cooker, which is really large. I'm not sure how many quarts it is, but when I first got it, I thought to myself, oh Lord, that's just too big. Because, you know, there was just two of us and I thought a smaller slow cooker would be better. But in the end, this was the right choice because you can make large meals. I mean, I have this practically full, as you can see, with um, vegetables and meat. This is gonna be enough of a freezer meal for Jackie and Jenny and me. <laughs> all right, let's, let's get the liquid in. All right, so I've got six cups of bouillon, beef broth, all the veg. I'm gonna put in some spices, let's see. We're gonna put in some onion powder, just because I don't have any onions and I think there should be a little bit, but you can see I'm not measuring, so. A little bit of onion powder and some basil. Seems good. No, oh, wait, I'm not going to do that. Hold on. Let's get the lid off. <laughs> mm, that's maybe a tablespoon. And some oregano leaves. Dried oregano. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> All right. Stir it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on low for about three to four hours. We'll see how it turns out. So now I'm gonna show you this new device that I got from my daughter Jennifer um, to thank me for all the freezer meals that I made. That's gonna make my life easier if I continue to make freezer meals. And it is a bag holder. Do you remember how I had that problem where the bag went like this and then all the contents fell on the floor? So this is a bag holder that's gonna allow me to put stuff in without having to worry about the stability of the bag. And I won't need to enlist another person to help me either. So let's take a look. All right, so here we go. 
I just got these in the mail. So they look like this. You just sit them up like this, kind of like little ears. <laughs> and then you need a bag. Hold on. So then you put the bag in between these two posts and you pull it up into these little holders like that. Can you hear that I have the angels on in the background? <laughs> Shohei Otani's pitching, so I'm excited. All right, now I'm gonna put the um, freezer meal in the bag. So then we're just gonna put this in. Okay. So far, it looks like it's doing a good job. I feel like it's pretty secure, so I'm not worried about things falling out or falling over, which was my other problem. All right, let's see how I fill it up. So here they are. They look great, worked fabulously. I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I feel very happy about it. Plus, when I went to the market, look what I bought. And I'm gonna end on a little bit of a somber note. One of my readers today, Sharon, passed away. And her friend, her very dear friend, Hope, wrote to me and let me know. And I wanna thank her for that. And I wanna send out my prayers and blessings to Sharon's family and to Hope and her family as well. Godspeed.